hallo und willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge der Demo Harold Halibut. Äh, ja, ich bin fasziniert von diesem Spiel, das habe ich gestern schon gesagt. Wir gehen jetzt mal die Fische füttern. Wir haben halt nur so eine kleine Kapsel bekommen, aber anscheinend soll es ja reichen, um die Fische zu füttern. Ich würde aber gerne eigentlich direkt noch weiter nach unten gehen. Oh, und wir haben irgendein Notizbuch eintragen. Das ist damit gemeint. Ja, okay, wir haben quasi... Kann ich das umblättern? Nee. Wir haben mit diesem... Wie hieß er? Chris gesprochen. Der sucht irgendeinen Sender, wo er seine türkische Telenovela gucken kann. Und wir decken eine Verschwörung auf. Äh, ich... Weiß noch nicht so richtig. Okay, wir... wir wir gehen Fische füttern. Erstmal. Ja, oder? Dann haben wir das erledigt. Und dann gehen wir nochmal hier runter. Ich weiß übrigens immer noch nicht, ob ich irgendwie rennen kann oder so. Oh, damit kann ich ranzoomen. Irgendwie bleibt er immer stehen, wenn er in einen neuen Raum kommt. Dann muss ich wieder von neu anfangen zu laufen. Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. <lacht> okay. Das, äh, das ist cool, das Bild. Ähm. Ich bin von hier gekommen, oder? Was ist das hier? Okay. War das erst schon da? Was muss ich überhaupt machen? Reinige die Filterstation. Wir gehen auf die Suche, wo die Filterstation ist. <lacht> Gut, dass wir erst noch mal hochgegangen sind, weil hier hinter müssen wir ja jetzt eh. Ein Tentakel. Was genau macht er da? Ah, okay. Hä? Was muss ich machen? Wo, wa, was muss ich machen? Ich weiß nicht, was ich gemacht habe. Clean as a whistle again. Oh 
Spooky Herald Bot Diagnostic Report. Scanning. Scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation. Minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Okay. Ich hier rein. Ich habe irgendwas gemacht und es hat funktioniert. Hat das jemand von euch verstanden, was ich dort machen musste? Okay, ich ähm, muss jetzt zu den äh, Agora, Angora, äh, Car, äh, ja, ich lasse es einfach. Ähm, wo ging es da noch mal lang? Wir sind doch von dort gekommen, oder? Ich muss ja irgendwie wieder zu diesen... Ach, hier sind wir hergekommen. Zu den Fahrstühlen, wollte ich sagen. Ich würde mir gerne die Map angucken. Ah, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Ankündigung ansehen. Ge muss ich jetzt zu Chris gehen? Um das mit ihm anzugucken. Hello again. Hey Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Be my guest. Not that I actually live here. Oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenner Castlejock. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenner Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Pedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. 
hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space, radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Well, sure. Makes for some nice Is gossip. Face but I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep, we've gotten to know each other well. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Errol. Also, was gerade noch nicht so klappt, ähm, ist die, ähm, der Pegel der Lautstärke. Also, diese, das Video gerade, die, die Katze, wie auch immer ich das jetzt mal nennen möchte, die war sehr laut und der Rest an Stimmen ist relativ leise. Das müsste vielleicht noch ein bisschen gepegelt werden. Geregelt und gepegelt. Ihr wisst schon, was ich meine. Wartet. Äh, ich musste hier hinter und dann die Treppe runter. Das war halt auch super leise. Und irgendwie befürchte ich jetzt, dass die Demo zu Ende ist, wenn wir jetzt schlafen gehen. Aber ich möchte nicht, dass die Demo zu Ende ist. Das Spiel ist cool. Gibt's hier noch irgendwas Neues? Ich habe ja gelernt, dass ich so ranzoomen kann, aber... von näher angucken kann ich auch nicht. Okay, mal gucken, ob die Demo jetzt wirklich schon vorbei ist. Oh boy. What a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But, Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now.
Wir dürfen anscheinend weiterspielen. Hier von aus oben wartet jetzt Professor... Er war auf den Stufen schon immer. Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it will make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. Do you remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Now, activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. Ah, das haben wir schon mal geöffnet, dieses Regal. Wo ich nicht wusste, wofür. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. You remember your left and right? Bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. Et voilà. Check the microscope and finally you'll see what I mean. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out. And then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Hallo Birgit, äh Brigitte. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh goodness, you're microwave boy. So, you do remember me. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Uh, okay. Ich glaube, wir führen diese Konversation morgen fort. Uh, in der Folge morgen. Ja? Also ich würde die Folge für jetzt... Ähm obwohl, ich weiß nicht genau, wenn ich jetzt hier die Aufnahme stoppe, nicht, dass ich hier irgendwas drück. Wir, wir ziehen die Konversation noch durch. <lacht> Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. <laughs> okay, with Namhats is nicht so. 
Wir sollen jetzt zu Tommy gehen. Und äh, das machen wir morgen. Äh, ja, jetzt wirklich. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Und wir sehen uns morgen wieder bei einer weiteren Folge zur Demo von Harold Halibut. Ich bleibe dabei. Ich bin begeistert von diesem Spiel. Also, macht euch noch einen schönen Tag. Und wir sehen uns sehr gerne morgen wieder. In diesem Sinne, bye bye, macht's gut.